Uh, my name is Dane Laughlin. I am the enterprise chair for today. So um, glad to have you guys back. Getting ready to introduce Vibhu Sharma. Uh, he is the uh, ARVR program lead for Philips. Um, so give him a round of applause, and I'll go ahead and pass it over to him. Thank you, Dave, for the introduction. So first of all, a very good afternoon to all the audiences and the greetings from Netherlands. So my name is Vibhu Sharma. I am the Head of Technology Licensing Program and ARVR is a program in, in our portfolio. And the presentation today, which I'm going through, would be how the ARVR could enhance the experience for remote consultations. The outline which we will be using to discuss about the concept idea is as shown on the slide here, going through the introduction concept the challenge is what we see in the mainstream telepresence and the vital science measurement domain and how our proposed solution we believe can solve those challenges and can enable a very enhanced user experience when it comes to remote consultation. But before we start, an introduction about Philips. So Philips, over 100 years, we have been improving people's life through steady flow of innovations and every year we are spending close to 1.8 billion in the area of health tech investments which has earned us the derwent global top 100 innovator for eight consecutive years and resulted in many innovative technologies patent rights and trademarks and about the organization i belong to intellectual property and standards we are committed for open innovation to make sure that we participate in the global innovation ecosystem through standardization, standard play, and licensing our technologies for turning ideas into commercial realities. So talking about the virtual consultation, so at Philips, we have this concept of health continuum, starting with the healthy living, prevention of the diseases, supporting the lifestyles through our technologies which enable healthy living and preventing, and then through diagnosis, treatment, home care, and then the cycle of this healthy living starts again. So on the core of these areas of the technologies which feeds into the healthy living prevention, diagnosis, treatment, and home care, virtual consultation is a very important piece of the puzzle. So virtual consultations, especially in the COVID times we have seen, has played a vital role in savings, in saving lives of many. But still we believe that a virtual consultation has its own limitation as we will go through. The challenges when we talk about this virtual consultations, we feel that it still lacks the empathetic connect between the patient and the doctor which we see in the real world. In the real world, physician has a chance to look around, you know, can ask a patient to uh, measure certain vital signs in a proper way and can connect like these vital signs are gathered from a particular body location and mix this information with what is available in the records about the patient history and, you know, the patient background resulting in a very meaningful diagnosis of the situation. And when we talk about the video consultation, we think that uh, the capturing is getting resolved more and more, but displaying that information, especially in an immersive fashion, still remains an unsolved puzzle, especially when we talk about not only the feed, immersive feed, but it's also embedded with the vital signs information. And of course, the continuous monitoring in a variable or in a camera-based technology is still a difficult problem. So talking about those challenges, we list few of them. The most prominent one we see is the issue arising because of the unwanted movement. The very nature of these uh, virtual consultation or a physical world consultation would require a subject or a patient to perform certain movement to check the condition. But these unwanted movements are a hurdle in enabling the technology deliver its objective in terms of the video consultations. And especially when we talk about unwanted movement in particular, 
the issue of spatial and temporal coverage. What if, as we are moving, shaking our heads like this or this, we get outside the camera field of view, then it's a problem. And nevertheless, the non-optimal conditions are either arising because of the viewing, because of the large distance from the camera or you know, caused by occlusion or like imaging conditions by motion blur, by underexposure or overexposure, that's also a problem resulting in not only a less optimum experience, but even also the irregular measurement of the white signs estimation. And if we talk about the solutions, how we foresee that we AR, VR could be a important technology piece in enhancing that experience because the concept of multiple cameras where we replace a single camera feed as, as the case with the most of the mainstream technologies with multiple cameras, we get the advantage of having a depth information, which not only improve the immersive experience in terms of visualization, but also enhances the coverage of the vital science measurement, in particularly helping to improve our knowledge of the body part location, which can enable the directed measurements of the vital signs. And together, this vital science, when fused with the uh, immersive views through these cameras, rig of cameras with the depth, uh, depth enabled cameras, you can get that experience, which can closely replicate the physical world experience. So talking about our proposed solution, as you see here, that the, we tend to replace a single camera with this camera rig kind of a solution where we would have multiple cameras. So our colleagues have presented this concept of the multiple camera rigs for immersive experience in the previous AWEs. And that solution is also, the fundamentals of the solution that we see is also very helpful in enabling the enhanced remote consultations as well because a doctor would like to have that free viewpoint, like would like to see the patient from different view, viewing areas, like as the case in the physical world, then these camera rigs would enable the seamless switching, like a photorealistic seamless switching, thanks to the real-time depth estimation, which is realized because of the proprietary disparity estimation algorithms Phillips have developed over the years, resulting in a very efficient computation and memory requirements for a hardware. With, with the result, we can meet the timing requirements as dictated by the use case of the remote consultations. And this information can later on be viewed on a client side with a real-time view synthesis, whether we talk about the 2D screen, in some cases, 3D screen, or even a virtual reality headsets. And this depth information we, we have uh, extracted with this camera rig, instead of having a single camera going through that video frame and extracting the vital signs, now we got this multiple video frames thanks to that camera rig, which can be used for the torso detection, like detecting the accurately the movement of the torso. And then from there, we could talk about the areas of the motion detection, like how the image motion can be detected, which can be then a feed for the respiration signal generation. Here, like the image motion is analyzed to detect even a minute torso movements and how those minute torso movements can be converted into a respiration signal information. And that information then gets an input for the respiration blood classification, respiration rate extraction, and then in the stages of confidence predictor stage, we can then have sort of a respiration rate value, which is very robust, thanks to the depth information we can get from the multiple video frames and enhance the experience. So if we, if we talk about this thing, like how we see this technology changing it, 
we, we see uh, changing the experience for both physician and for the patient itself is its ability that combines the depth information for enab enabling that kind of immersive video frames which are transmitted plus that depth information is adding to the robustness of the vital signs estimations so robustness of the vital signs estimation enhanced by the further enhanced by the immersive views together create a kind of a video stream which is very useful or very key part in enabling the health continuum kind of a structure where we are talking about not only a healthy living and also the early remediation because of a better connect between a physician and the patient through the digital technologies. And it's our purpose to improve people's health and well-being through the meaningful innovation. And this concept of AR, VR based enhanced virtual consultation is one such solution we think we can enable. And talking about like uh, this multiple cameras based immersion technology, what we see is that the many of the issues like often we, we come across that a doctor can speak through the patient it has to rely on what the patient provides as an information or has to gather that information separately it can be provided together through this solution through this kind of solution setting not only improving the experience but also adding that element missing element of empathetic connect which could enable more realistic remote consultations so this is all i have to present thank you for your time perfect hello how do you plan to integrate the multi-camera setups with actual patients so what what we think like these multi-cameras there, there there is no one way to do it so we see that smartphones is the most popular mainstream hardware device in the world which is already now getting to this multiple camera stage is not the multiple there yet but two or three is a more of a reality that could be one channel the other channel could be like uh, the devices on the lines of a sound bar where people have these multiple speakers people like to add cameras or even more and more cameras simply because of the economics behind it the camera cost is reducing so we think that the hardware devices are getting to the stage where the multiple camera rig can be a reality awesome any other questions well thank you vibhu i appreciate it uh, really great presentation and uh give a round of applause for vibhu So we're a few minutes early. Uh, we'll, we'll probably go ahead and move into a break. Do you have a question? Oh, yeah. Well, well, well I think he's gone. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't see you. So yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and. Oh, Dave, are you still here? Yeah, I'm still here. Great. Yes. We have another question for you. Is is this what you're planning on deploying, or have you already deployed something like this, and doctors feel comfortable using this camera rig for telehealth? Yeah, so this camera rig as a Philips 6 stuff technologies already exist and have been deployed in the regular communication scenario. Uh, this vital science measurement as a biosensing platform is already being available. So these kind of deployments are in advanced stages. Uh, to know more, I will be more than happy to connect with you later through, the, through an email, which is my first name dot last name at philips.com. Well, I shut us down a little bit too early last time. Are there any other questions? Awesome. Well, thank you again, Vibhu. I really appreciate it. Great. Thank you, and wish, wish everyone a very good day ahead.